I've removed the farm area. And that's because last episode we built this thing, which produces a bunch of melons for us to trade with our villagers. I also extended the area around the base because it gives us more room to work. Hello and welcome back to another episode of One Block Skyblock with me, Gwent Gamer. If you are enjoying this series, then please remember to leave a like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. In today's episode, we're going to be modifying our house because this place looks like trash. I mean, seriously, it's disgusting. How can anyone live like this? We're also going to be making some farms in this general area. And I assure you, this episode, we will be taking on the Bastion, whether we die or we succeed. We probably will die. Let's start off by fixing up this house, because I really can't live like this anymore. We'll start with ripping down these bookshelves and this enchantment station. Oh my gosh, I've just removed some bookshelves and it turns out there was a, a, a bunch of cats <laughs> just all living behind the bookshelves. They got stuck down there. Poor cats. Okay, stage one complete. Now for stage two. This is completely unplanned, but I think I'm going to try and place some stairs. Um, I'm guessing here because then they should clear this window. I didn't like it. Let's try again. Is that too claustrophobic now? I think it is. We'll try. Let's, let's see. We're walking through the door and we've got stairs right there. That is kind of claustrophobic but i'll live with it i'll live with it because i would like more access at the top of the stairs hmm i'm not sure <laughs> i'm not sure if i like that maybe i'll i'll take it all the way across and then just leave oh yeah that's what i'll do i think i'll do this and leave a gap here for the large window area to still let light in and yeah lots more space up here okay i like this I'm going to have to put some sort of railings up here now. Okay, so I'm using glass for the railings. I think we've got enough just about. If I sort of just cut this all whole area off, and then maybe I could just get rid of this as well. I'm not sure what I think about this, but uh, I think it's going to have to do for now. I've discovered that actually the corner blocks here, even if you've got them covered, as long as there's still bookcases here, they still allow you to get a level 30 enchant table. So uh, that's something new for me, actually. Didn't know that. And I've managed to keep this window as open as possible on the top story. Uh, yeah, pretty pleased with this. Pretty pleased. I'm not sure if I should... I mean, maybe I could put it on the back wall here. Um, it would come out to there. I'm not sure. I, I could do that. It, it would take up less space, but it wouldn't look as nice. <laughs> uh, so it's a toss-up between looking nice or, or being practical. And, uh, well, I'm a very practical person, actually, so I, I may move it. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I've also popped these under the stairs. Again, my practicality coming into play here. Um, I've just moved them out of the way just to make more space over here because I'm guessing I'm going to be expanding the chest because I am running out of space very rapidly and I did change this a little bit as well so yeah um I've got a little bit left to do in the house but let's move on because this is going to get boring otherwise okay I lied a little bit I ended up doing a little bit more work in the house but I'll show you that later because now is the time to go to the bastion wish me luck I actually had a gas shoot me on the way out of the nether and um yeah kind of ruined my ruined my path here <laughs> Okay, turns out the ghast is actually still there. How frustrating. Oh, I just got an achievement. Those were the days. I guess we dig in. Probably around here. Okay, that was a good choice because we're literally right here. Should I take these lanterns? Maybe I should. Maybe I shouldn't. Am I going to get in trouble with a brute if I do? Okay, there's a brute. And there's a gold block over there. And a bunch of brutes, basically. Um, I'm not sure the best way to explore these. Is it just literally just dive into the center and hope for the best? I think the chests are basically everywhere, though, aren't they? Okay, there's three of them. I'm pretty sure they're going to come for me. Yeah, they're not going to like me being this close, are they? Do, do we think I should just shoot them from here? Oh, I didn't bring any building blocks. Okay, I've kind of penned myself in, in a, an area where I don't think they'll be able to get me. So I'm just going to bow and arrow them to death. Yeah, they can't see me. This is definitely the way to do it. I don't know if I should have had a flame bow, though. Is that going to help or hinder me here? Okay, I think that's the three of them dealt with. What's down here? That's just, just lava pits. Who knows what that's all about? I think this is like the main entrance. 
Let's get these gold blocks. What was that? Did I did I pick that up? I I think I just dropped that. Oh, it's down there. Oh, I think I'm just going to have to forget about that block. That's gone. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's a lot of them. But I think this is where all the chests and stuff are. I've just got to watch my footing. I'm just sniping them all. <laughs> I don't know if there's like a set amount that spawn in here or if it's a case of they'll keep on spawning. I've got a feeling the brutes are just going to like, surely the brutes don't keep on spawning, right? Oh, look, there's a chest down there. Can you see it? There it is. Okay, how do I get to that layer? Okay, there it is. I'm going to go above it and try and get it from above. I know that they're not going to like me taking whatever's in this chest. Because before, I've, I've literally placed my own chest and opened it. And they do not like that. They do not. They hate you going in their chests. Um, okay, so we've got an iron sword with sweeping edge. A golden block, golden apple, magma cream. I really need that. Um, don't really need the other stuff, but the magma cream was a, a must. So I think all of the goodies are down there, aren't they? How do I get down there? Do I just keep going, just digging my way down? Is that the best way to do this? Mm, let's just drop down and hope for the best. Oh no, that was a bad idea. Oh, one hit. <laughs> Wicked. <laughs> Gosh, those were easier than I thought. I think it's because my sword is pretty, pretty good. I've got smite three. Does that do anything? I'm not sure if sweeping edge does anything either. I don't think smite, smite shouldn't do anything to the piglin, should it? Does it? I don't know. Oh, actually, maybe that was one of the ones I've already hit with my bow a, a couple of times. Oh, look, there's a chain. Oh, it's just a lantern on it. Okay, I, I've just seen a bunch of them down here. There's like four or five of them. I can't see any more chests, though. Oh, I'm going to have to bear that in mind. There's large magma slimes down there. Magma cubes, whatever they're called. Oh, he dropped and died. Yeah, there's a bunch of gold blocks down there. I think that's the main prize right there. It's just getting there safely. Oh, gosh. Is that a spawner? Oh, it's a magma... Sl it's a slime spawner, isn't it? That's what it is. That's where they're coming from. Oh, there's a brute. These guys have got really short range. <laughs> I think there's some below me, though, so I think the ones below me just got alerted. Yeah. Oh, and him. He got alerted, too. <laughs> Apparently there was one above me as well. Yeah, so I'm going to have to get to the middle and break the spawners. Oh, I'm going to end up in lava. I just know it. All right, I'm going to try and break this spawner real quick. I need to try... Oh, there it is. There, done. Should I have kept that? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I've, I'm guessing not. Oh, look, there they all are. There's loads of them over there. If I can... Yeah, if I, like, dig in right here so that they can't knock me out of this place, I can probably snipe them all. Let's do that. Because they're not... They don't seem to be spawning back. <laughs> this is just, like, my little turret. <laughs> I need to try and figure out a good way to get down without dying. And without one of those things jumping on me. Let's do that. Okay, what's in this chest? <gasps> oh my gosh, there's a netherite ingot. Oh my days. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to put that on. Maybe I'll get like a suit. Oh, and ancient debris. Not quite as useful. <gasps> yeah, protection. What's on these ones? Normal protection. Let's just swap those over for now. Bunch of magma cream. Crying obsidian. Loads of gold. Okay, that was a decent chest. That was a decent chest, everybody. What's next? What's next? Let's let's try and get down here. Make it safe for ourselves. Okay, I'm I'm comfortable. I'm I'm now in a position where I feel comfortable. I mean I'm still crouching like like it's no one's business, just in case, but still. Yeah, okay, comfy, comfy. Let's uh, break all of these gold blocks. Make sure there's nothing sinister underneath them. Oh, we did it, guys. We did it. Oh, there's a big one. That's what she said. 
How am I going to get out of here? That's the that, that's the new problem. How do I get out? Any chests? Can we see any more chests about the place? I can't, personally. I don't know about you guys. I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments if I missed any. But, um... Quite uneventful, actually. A great place now to collect all of my my black... What What's this called? What's this called? Uh, cracked, polished... Blackstone. Blackstone. That's the one. Oh, by the way, um, I found out what the, the red trees are called. <laughs> They're called crimson tree. Oh, crimson stems, is it? Um, yeah, so I found that out. My daughter told me that. Do you know what? It's it's funny. This, this whole thing, this whole Minecraft thing, it's really come full circle. Oh, my days. That was lucky. I used to have to tell my daughter absolutely everything. Now she knows more than me. And I like it that way, actually. It's quite nice. She She's really taken interest in the things that I'm interested in. Um, but it's it's quite it's like um, you, you know when you you if you play sports and then one day your children become better at sports than you it's it's kind of a similar feeling <laughs> when your kids become better at games than you it's, it's it's a sad day okay get rid of the gas get home get safe <laughs> do I feel confident now to take on the fortress I think I do you know guys but do we have time I don't think we're gonna have time because I want to build some farms today as well. I'm still furious about this. Absolutely furious about this. I'll be back. This will get fixed at some point. It never will. Guys, I'm so pleased with how that went. Well, we just bossed it, really, didn't we? I don't know what I'm going to put my netherite on, though. Maybe a maybe a pick or a chest plate. Probably a pick. I'm not sure. Maybe a good sword. Oh, I don't know. Too many choices. <laughs> um, oh, there is something I need to show you, actually. Um, come with me. So, you'll see, I've I've moved the bookshelves, and I've added in these wicked candles, um, which really add to the atmosphere up here in the attic. Um, but that's not all. So, I've moved all of the chests, because I was kind of getting annoyed with them all, and I've made this amazing, well, I think it's amazing, storage area. Uh, I'm really pleased with this, actually. And look, it's even got shelves going all the way around, so it's like the, the chests are actually being held up by something. So... For once, there is some structure to something in Minecraft. <laughs> There's a lot to be said for that, you know. So yeah, I'm really pleased with that. I'm happy with how it turned out. What do you guys think? And I've, I haven't got labels on everything yet, but I do have things in the right chest. Things are actually sorted. I just haven't labelled the chests. So now it's just a case of getting those farms made. Okay, I believe I've got everything that I need at sort of arm's distance between this chest and, and my inventory. We're going to be making uh, two farms, but they're going to be joined together because they're going to be essentially the same thing. And the, the only issue I've got is basically the only resource for, for lots of blocks of the same type I've got is the nether. So we are gonna stick with a nether theme. And I say stick with, I know this is ocean, but this will actually be changing to um, warped stems. I, I think that's the, the word. <laughs> so we're gonna be changing this for a slightly different shade of blue, ultimately. Uh, and then this side is gonna be a shade of red because we're gonna be using the crimson stems. Um, before I get started on all that though, I just need to get this bucket of lava into here because we're gonna need a bunch of glass. Uh, okay, let's get started on this. Okay, that's a pretty good start. I quite like that. Looks quite nice. Okay, slightly more progress is being made. We're definitely getting there, and I'm sure you know what we're making by now. We're very nearly done, but the minecart is going extremely slow. So I'm thinking I'm going to add in an extra block over here where uh, we can speed this thing up. There we go, just like that. Now, hopefully... That should help. Yeah, much better. Perfect. And the glass has finished smelting, so we can place that in now. And I'm thinking I'm going to have another row of this right about here. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the top, whether to leave it open, put the, crim the nether wart block in, or put um, some glass there. I'm not sure. You know, I think I'm just going to leave it open because I doubt that any uh, sugar cane is going to be going over the top. Okay, we'll place the sugar cane in. And just wait for it to grow. And hopefully, if we do this, it will break. And then this will get collected up. Fingers crossed. Yep, got collected up. And then it will end up in that chest down there. Yep, and it's in the chest down there. Perfect. Uh, we're going to shut this off. Um, and uh, that one's done. 
So, on to the next farm. Okay, so for the next farm, we're just going to come over one block, I think. Oh, I could actually use this, couldn't I? I think I will. Yeah, okay, we'll use... We'll basically just make it next to... Um, next to this farm. I could have really done it all in one, but I wanted some sort of separation. So with this one, we're going to start off by placing down some furnaces, actually. Then we're going to place down a double chest around about here. And I need some more hoppers. <laughs> Damn it, I've run out of hoppers. We should be able to get away with just the one more. And that's just about that one done. We just need to add in some bamboo and then cover the front. Now, I had to make a little bit of a trade-off with this one. You see, I wanted it to be a little bit taller than that one. But for symmetry's sake, and it's not really symmetrical, but for, I, I don't know, just for my peace of mind, I had to do away with the extra layers. Ultimately, bamboo grows quicker, so I was going to let it go taller before I put the observers in. Um, but this will be fine. There we go. Is that going to be fast enough? That should just be fine. That should be fine. So this is what this one's going to do. It's going to produce bamboo, obviously. It's going to get collected up, and then it's going to get put as fuel in these furnaces. So I constantly got fuel going into my furnaces. That's kind of huge on Skyblock because I don't have access to coal unless I go and farm with a, ske with a skeletons, which is not a nice thing to have to do to get your coal. And then any extra will actually go into this chest. So I've got plenty of sticks to, to trade with the villagers. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that, actually. I could put some glass on the front of these, but the thing is, these minecarts can break. So I don't really want to have to keep swapping glass out just to go and fix them. So we'll leave them like that for now. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to round things up for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. I have. We went to the Bastion and we conquered it. Thank goodness for that. I was 100% certain I was going to die. <laughs> um, if you have enjoyed this episode and you're liking this series, then please go ahead and like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. It will help me out and also it will help you to find my videos in the future. Thanks for watching. I'm Gwent Gamer. Goodbye. Feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go.